I'm Jazz, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week's video, we're gonna be doing another makeup look slash get ready with me. It is going to be a celebrity of the month. I haven't done this in a really long time, actually. This week's celebrity of the month is going to be none other than Sabrina Carpenter. Her album's coming out on the 23rd, I wanna say, of August, so it only seemed fitting. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. And without further ado, let's get into the makeup look. How has everybody been? It's been a while since I've done just a little like sit down chatty video with you guys. How's your summer going? I'd love to know. So a couple of things. One, obviously the shirt says I'm working late cause I'm a singer with an espresso martini. Did I get this shirt specifically for this video? No. Did it come in handy? Absolutely. It is also about to start pissing rain. Anyway, I never really got into Sabrina Carpenter until recently. Not saying that I wasn't a fan, but I also just wasn't a stan, if that makes any sense. I just didn't find myself always listening to her music until recently when she started coming out with like her recent bops. And I was like, oh, this is a vibe. The song Feather was one of the like first songs that I thought I could like really get into. No, I think I got some on my shirt. <laughs> this is the first time I'm wearing this shirt. Oh my God, I'm actually pissed. Oh well. <laughs> However, when Espresso came out, it was another song that I didn't really listen to until it was like all over my TikTok feed. So then I was like, you know what? Let me actually give this song a listen. And I did, and I realized I freaking loved it. And I don't know if this is just me or if anybody else feels like this, but do you ever, just like listen to a song and it hits but then you see the music video for the song and it hits even more that's how i feel with a lot of the music that i listen to like for instance i love ariana grande she is probably my favorite female artist ever i always listen to her songs and i always wait for her albums to come out i don't usually do that with any other female artist, but Sabrina Carpenter is starting to get up there because I actually cannot wait for her album to come out. I'm so excited to listen to it. And Billie Eilish is another one where like, when she came out with Happier Than Ever, like I listened to the entire album and like I waited for that to come out. And then when she came out with her newest album, that album, I don't remember what it's called. I waited for that album to come out. So like there are very few artists who I will wait for their album to come out. And then once it does, I will listen to all of it in one sitting. But yeah, when I first heard Espresso, I just like heard it on Spotify, like fully. And again, I liked the song, but then I saw the music video for it. And I was like, this just made the song 10 times better. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me or like, does anybody else do that? Going back to when I was talking about Ariana Grande, when I heard We Can't Be Friends, I love the song. And then when she came out with the music video, I love the song even more. Bottom line, I just really started to like look forward to her music. And then she came out with Please, 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 which I will say when Please, Please, Please came out, I didn't really like it more than Espresso. But the more I listened to the song, the more I was like, oh yeah. And that's actually the inspiration of today's look. Um, it was really hard to get like a still image of her makeup. I'm trying to recreate her makeup in that video. I'll put a picture right here. This is the stillest image I could get of just her makeup in general. I think I understand what I need to do, but because I can't really see, I might not get the look completely right. Okay, I have every intention of doing this right. So we're gonna do cream products first. Using the Elf Halo Glow to do some like bronzing slash contour. She has like a really snatched nose in this video. Using the lighter shade of concealer in the middle and the boop of my nose. Then we're gonna take the tiniest, tiniest amount of this Elf Blush using the shade of Coral, I wanna say. Coral Crush. She mainly focuses it on the higher points of her cheeks. And listen, I love blush. I think I have blush blindness on top of the actual blindness that I have without my glasses on. And then I'm gonna go in with this Quo Beauty gloss over stick. Okay, where else? <laughs> you 
Can you tell that I cannot see? <laughs> Just for good measure, I'm gonna put some in the center of my nose. I think this product is more for when you don't have a full face of makeup. Like it's, that's really pretty. But then on the other hand, I also feel like no matter what I do, my makeup comes off. Now we're gonna set it with some powdered highlighter and blush. This is my She Glam one in the shade Saint Tropez. Tropez? If you wanna go stupid, don't do it for me. Then I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer palette and taking the shade Chocolate Cake. I'm gonna go set my bronzer. I'm actually filming this quite late in the evening. Uh, it's almost sundown, so excuse the lighting. It's gonna be a little bit shifty. Okay, I think that's fine. I hope that's fine. I just remembered I did not take out my eyeshadow palette. Uno momento, por favor. Okay, for my eye look, I'm gonna go back in with my Marcel palette. I'm actually finding myself using this palette so often. To the wonderful students that got me this, you are very loved, you are very appreciated. So from my understanding, she has this like light lid base and then in with like a darker brown crease. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two shades on the lid. Maybe go in with this one first and then top it off with this one. And then in the crease, I'm gonna use these two, obviously go in with this one first and then deepen it with that dark brown. So to start off, I'm gonna be using this flatter brush. And then, as I said, I'm gonna go in with this white and then just put that all over the lid. And then on the other side, I'm going to use this same fluffy brush and then go in with that second shade. I don't really know how to describe the shade. It's kind of like a really pale beige nude. I'm gonna go in with a even fluffier flat brush and then as I said I'm gonna be taking this lighter brown first and this will be focused solely on the crease and this like flatter type brush really helps when you're really trying to get into this like into your little eye socket like that and then I'm also just going to like in circular motions bring it a little bit out but still keeping it quite focused to my eye. I'm gonna use the same brush and go in with a darker brown in the same place, but this time I'm only going to deposit it in the crease. I'm not gonna take it on the other corner. I'm just gonna deposit in the crease. Now I know this is crazy. Trust the process. One of us has to. Now I'm gonna go in with just a random fluffy brush and diffuse this so that it blends a little bit more seamlessly and it doesn't look too harsh on our eyes. And now, just because we've blended out so much, I'm gonna go back in with our lighter shades and put that back on the lid because we did lose it just a little bit. But that is quite all right. Every time I do this like in-depth sort of makeup look tutorials, if you could really call them that. I feel like I speak like Bob Ross. We blend it out just a little too much. That's all right. We can just go back in with our white and fix those happy little accidents. I think we got it to where we wanted it to be, or at least as close as we could get it. The next thing that she has is like this eyeliner that goes in the inner corner as well as the outer corner. Um, she has this like cat eye look. Can't seem to find my eyeliner brush, so we're just going to be using this like this rectangular flat brush in attempt to do that outer slash inner winged liner. I am going in with the same palette. I like to use eyeshadow for my eyeliner simply to save me from insanity. This is going to be a bitch and a half to take out. She also takes just a little bit of the brown and she'll put it underneath her eye. Do I do lashes? The look is just too dramatic for there not to be lashes. We're gonna try.
nah, y'all have to like the video. Y'all have to subscribe. Cause I did that in record freaking time. I think I'm actually gonna time lapse this because that first time too, I'm actually her. I'm actually her. I'm so gassed right now. Finally, she has this like brown glossy lip, which I'm going to attempt to do with what I have. I don't really own any lipsticks, to be honest. I typically wear lip liners and gloss. I'm gonna do a dark lip liner on the outside, even though that's not really what she has, but I wanna create as much dimension as possible. I am just gonna do a perimeter of dark brown. And then I am going to do a lip shade that is pretty much my own lip shade. And I'm going to blend the two together. And then I think what I'm gonna do to sort of like diffuse the color just a little bit is just tap over it. And then with this lip oil from She Glam as well, this is one of my favorite lip oils in the entire world. Okie dokie, this is the finished look. Taking off the glasses, giving you guys a little close up. I am so pleased with my lashes. Like, I can't believe I was able to do that first time. Uh, I haven't done lashes in a while and I had nails on this time, like. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I'm not gonna lie, I think I kinda ate. That is it for this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait to listen to Sabrina Carpenter's new album. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it means the absolute world to me. And I will see you guys in next week's video.